Hey guys, uh, just gonna jump in and do a little bit of a preface on this video. Uh, it's a little bit of a weird day of fishing and it gave me a really good chance to do an example of some of the pros and cons of my boat. Uh, any of you who've watched my boat review video saw some of this, but I didn't actually cover it and show it. And, and I really think that actually seeing the day-to-day -day use, uh, how I unload it, how I put it in the garage and stuff like that is useful. So I'm gonna cover some of that. I'm gonna go out, you know, most of this is me out fishing and uh, talking about my fishing, but I am gonna cover a bunch of my boat stuff too. And I'll uh, throw some little subtitles on there as well. So you know what's going on. Anyway, appreciate it guys. Let's go for the ride. All right guys, making my way across the lake. I am back at my favorite lake, which I have called this a lot, but I have been skunked my last six trips out here. Sorry, it's not enough fingers. Six trips out here, 53 degree water. I am pretty hyped about that. That should be good. I'm, I'm so tired of saying that it's munching time and not getting anything though. So I'm gonna stay optimistic. I don't really feel optimistic, but I'm gonna try and stay optimistic. I'm gonna pound it. I'm gonna throw some moving baits. I'm gonna throw some bottom baits. I'm gonna see what I can churn up. Let's go. Fifty-four degrees. It is fifty-four degrees, and I cannot buy a bite. I haven't even seen a bass in the last several trips. I've literally only seen random trout and some of the stalker steelhead or big trout. I'm not really sure. I assume they're steelhead. This is getting really frustrating, guys. Like, I used to rake this lake. I mean, every trip, even in the winter, I was catching fish, and now suddenly I can't. And it's really kind of messing with my confidence a bit because this was my confidence lake and now I can't catch a fish here so where can I catch a fish? Well guys original plan today was to throw one of my favorite springtime favorite confidence baits a spinner bait but as you can see it's sunny as heck there's a little bit of wind but not enough chop and and I just don't feel like that bait's gonna get bit on a clear sunny day so switching up to a little more subtle thunder spin with a uh, there's a strike king rage swimmer I think they're called Maybe this will eke something out. I'm, I'm getting really desperate, I'm not gonna lie. All right guys, here's the deal. I am not finding any fish anywhere. I can't even catch a trout right now and I feel a little better because all the people trolling and stuff aren't getting them either, but I'm seeing them jump, whatever. So last year I had decent success back at this far end of the lake, the far south end. Um, I'm already seeing 55 and a half degree water, so it's significantly warmer back here. Uh, downside is there's a lot more vegetation, but I'm hoping that the fish are all the way down here because it's warmer down here. I mean, I haven't seen anything. Um, I love this lake because there's so many amazing wood laydowns and that the fish usually hug to it. I mean, the bulk of my fish here have been on those laydowns. Um, I'll show a little underwater of one of the ones I catch a lot of fish on, but I, I mean, I'm buzzing over there really slow and I'm not seeing any sign of life. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm scaring them off. I don't know if the fact that the water's clearer than usual is making a difference. Something has got these fish tucked away or they're just down here and I don't know. So I'm gonna explore this end. Uh, there's only a few spots I usually catch fish. I'm gonna check them first and then I'll, I'm just gonna kitchen sink it, I think. I really wanna get a fish in this boat and get the skunk out. So <sighs> see how it goes. Well, there's a dead fish. That's absolutely what that is. What? I don't know if you guys can make that out down there, but there's a dead bass with its stomach. It looks like torn out down there. Gnarly. That's not good. All right, dudes, here's the deal. I made one pass to the far end of the lake, buzzed back, and my trolling motor is going super slow. My battery's showing dead. I've been out here maybe three hours. I actually went battery shopping yesterday and opted not to pick one up yet. I figured I'd wait till after I paid rent, whatever. And I'm really regretting it because I'm having to buzz back over by the boat dock and just kind of stay over here so I can paddle back. The wind has been stronger than I expected and I still haven't seen any fish. I'm kind of frustrated because I was hoping for this afternoon sun out, water warm up, we'd pick up the bite, but I can't go anywhere. I may have to just sit here and cast and hope something moves through here, but I don't know, man. This might be my last update because if I can't find anything from here, I'm just going to have to bounce.
fishing isn't that fun right now. Um, I don't know what else to say it. Clearly, I'm the common denominator since, like, legit every single bass fisherman I know right now is catching fish. All of them. Every single one. Uh, nationwide, everybody I know who bass fishes is catching fish. Uh, everybody on my Instagram, everybody on Facebook, they're all catching fish. And I cannot buy a bite. I can see fish in the water, but they won't go near me or I've spooked them. Uh, I can't find them any of the places they're supposed to be. And this stupid raft running out of battery so fast just killed my entire day. I can't even make another pass because I'm not even sure I'm going to get the extra, like, 100 feet back to the boat ramp here. It is what it is. Um... I'd love to say I'm not totally discouraged, but I'm totally discouraged right now. Uh, I'm going to stick with it, obviously, but it's this is tough. Like, I feel like I should be catching fish. The water is 55 here. The air temperature is pretty warm. I know it's sunny, but, I mean, with the springtime, they're looking to warm up. I, I'm at a loss. I can't even buy a trout right now. Um, I'm going to pack up, pack it in. I'm going to probably stop and bank fish a couple of the lakes on the way out of here just see if I can get something but you know unless you hear from me again assume I didn't get anything and assume that I'll be back on the grind next week well guys we're gonna do a pretty quick love hate with this boat today as you guys just saw I had a pretty rough day at the lake I'm, I'm super frustrated with uh, my little boat for a number of reasons a is you know get caught in the wind a lot I talked about that in my review and uh, my trolling motor batteries are dying really fast and so I was only out like three and a half hours before I was on the red and had to just anchor up and stay so I wanted to highlight uh, a little bit why I have this boat, why this boat is the right fit for me right now, and a big part of that is storage space. As you guys can see, I've got a little garage and it is full of stuff, so I don't really even have the option of like putting a little John boat and a trailer in here. So, you want to take this thing out so you guys can see just how easy it unloads uh, back at home, how easy I just flip it on its side, slide it in here, and how little space it takes up in my garage, and why I appreciate that about the boat. That's all there is to it guys. And then I have all this room to just back right up into it. I have a walkway still and you know, it's only a couple feet wide and that's the, the nice part or tall, I guess. So when I'm able to lay it on its side like that, it takes up very minimal space. Uh, you know, just stash the trolling motor, stash the battery on the charger, wherever I want to put it, you know, and, and it, it takes up so little space. It's, there's barely a single car garage. I could barely fit a car in here if I wanted to, assuming I didn't have, you know, several people's worth of stuff in here. Uh, anyway, I got to remember these things when I'm having a tough day because, uh, you know, it has to make up a little bit for some of the frustration on the water. There's a give and take with this boat. You know, it's cheap. It gets people on the water. It's so easy for me to transport, so easy to get in and out of my truck, and so easy to store. So anyway, thanks for coming along, guys. Uh, I'm going to get back at it next week and hopefully uh, actually get on some darn fish this time. See ya.